Hello everyone, this is the V-Man. Welcome. Today in GT Sport we are racing at the Interlagos track with group 4 cars in a daily race C. In my previous videos I was mostly doing daily races A's and B's and this track with all of its 11 laps will be interesting to uh, try and for you I hope interesting to watch. So at this track we will be testing that consistency theory I am constantly talking about. That's a theory about how much is better to have all laps consistent or at least most of them than to chase the fastest time every lap and to have uh, maybe one or two laps good and all of the other bad ones. So that's the theory at least and we will be testing it. This is the track I was practicing a lot in Group 3 cars, so I am quite familiar with it and I know which racing lines to use or what racing lines to use and to follow so I can set the best lap time. So best lap time possible of course. For my practicing session I was using a Toyota 86 Gazoo racing car and after only 4, la four laps I was able to set a best lap time of mine so far of 138.4 and uh, it was very surprising for me to set a best lap time that quickly so I was trying for one more hour and uh, I couldn't even come close to that time so I don't know what was happening some kind of twilight zone was happening uh, I don't know what was it but Nevertheless, 138.4 uh, is a decent lap and after I realized I cannot improve, I entered the race. Uh, that time was enough for a 12th starting position and this lobby was full of A and A plus rated fellow drivers. Uh, that's the good thing because it is a good competition and as I said, I like a good competition because there is a lot to learn from it and uh, this is what we are doing, learning to drive good, to drive well, to be fast, consistent and clean. So before this uh, race I was trying uh, one more of course the same and I learned that this race is a no-stopper so now it was about what car to choose. At that previous race I was using uh, Honda NSX, it's a decent car but I was thinking that maybe there is a better car for this track. There is a variety of cars racing at this track and uh, as you can see Jaguar F-Type, uh, Renault Megane, Alfa Romeo 4C which uh, was attacking me just a few corners ago and uh, because I'm a sucker for a nice engine sound or engine noise however you want to call it I choose the McLaren 650S. So it's a very good car, it sounds very badass and uh, of course it has a big turbo and as we all know it, no turbo, no fun. So this British guy ahead of me was generously awarded the one second penalty after only two laps and as he goes south we went through, right through him and now we improved one position from 11th to 10th. That's the good thing, so we are improving. I was watching some videos previously and uh, I knew that the Renault Megane was a very good car for this track uh, and for tracks overall where we have um, many laps to drive to compete, but after all of these updates things have obviously changed. Nevertheless, we will try our luck with the McLaren and uh, I like this variety of cars. So I like when there is a lot of different cars racing in one track. So for me, uh, that's, uh, that's a good thing. So um, talking about this track and how many laps of practicing I had, uh, I think there is a uh, room for improvement, maybe not big improvement, but I think that I can manage to improve maybe 0 0.3, 0 0.4 uh, second in, on this lap, on this track, and if I manage to do that it would be a very good lap, so nevertheless I will be uh, 
keep trying, of course. So, about racing itself, um, I mentioned earlier, I don't want to be too aggressive because it's easy to be aggressive. The key is to stay clean and to drive fast enough while we are, we are battling with someone for a position. So that's the point. And uh, I don't want to be aggressive and maybe to push somebody out of the track and by doing that to ruin their race. So it's not worth, worth it for me. So the goal is to be clean, safe and respectful driver. So for now, uh, before I build up my confidence and my good driving skills. So no need for a Verstappen moves from a Formula 1. We want more of those grazie ragazzi moment for a clean race or for a good car, something like that. So um, I am now somewhere in the middle, uh, behind and in front of the car. Uh, Megane is in front, I think the Jaguar is behind, so I am somewhere in the middle, one second ahead and one second behind the car. Um, so far nothing special especially was happening at this track, but soon enough uh, things will start to happen. So, um, maybe the only thing on this track, only, uh, sorry, uh, place on this track where I was thinking to overtake is this long straight. Because uh, as much as the Renault Megane is a good handling car, it lacks uh, top, high top speed. So, I will be able to catch up with the car in front and as soon as I uh, get a hold of uh, its uh, slipstream, I will be coming close very fast. So maybe after a uh, long straight, maybe I can do some overtaking on the braking. That's the rhyme. Yeah. So, uh, still one car ahead uh, has a penalty. We will see how big that penalty is. And maybe if it's big enough, we can improve one more place by doing nothing so that's the good thing some of the cars have dropped off and that's the good thing also and um, um, Renault Megan is uh, I must say very good handling car so it means that it is very fast in the corners and soon enough uh, some of the cars from behind will come close to me and I will be forced to drive defensively. So that's the one more moment in race I didn't do many times, but I know uh, some basic rules for defensive driver, driving and that is to keep my eyes on uh, cars behind of course and to use inner side of a track every time when a car is uh, trying to overtake me so I need to make the, that car behind to go off the racing line and uh, by doing that it will go slower so that's the whole point to defending so of course if the car is too uh, fast if it's faster than me I will not uh, make too much trouble and I will just let him through so I, I don't want to make uh, to destroy somebody else's race, that's the point. That, that, that is why I'm repeating that all the time. So, the one thing I don't like is to use all means to achieve uh, my goals. Uh, that is the one thing I don't want to do. So, uh, uh, that is all about it. So, um, I think that my lap so far was very decent, uh, consistent. I was trying to do that and now I think I'm starting to catch up with the cars in front especially because they were starting to battle uh, between themselves and of course I'm always repeating that when the cars are starting to battle between themselves they start to lose time. So one car went off, uh, now we are at the 8th position. So we are still improving our positions by doing practically nothing, but it's not nothing, we are driving some decent laps. So, uh, fifth lap is almost over, we are coming to the somewhere uh, half race, so uh, 
as you can see we are now very close to the cars ahead and the cars behind are uh, still far away so I don't need to think about them yet so uh, here's the moment when I am really close to this Megane I am picking up a slipstream I am only getting faster and faster one car goes south it has a two year penalty something like that and now I was just being careful um, I didn't see anything in front of me I didn't saw my reference points on where to brake so I was just braking very early so I don't push a car uh, which is ahead of me off the track so uh, now I'm just driving behind these cars hoping to pick up a slipstream and to uh, build advantage from a car behind but as you can see that car behind was catching up with me and that car behind now is a Renault Megane and uh, I was saying uh, how much this car preserves tires and uh, it will become very dangerous somewhere close to the end of the race so so far I am somewhat safe but uh, as you can see that car behind me is very close very close but um, this is the long straight uh, I am having a better speed better top speed than, than the Megane so every time I will build advantage when I when we are on this long straight so I wasn't worried about that so one thing I was worried about are these slow corners in the middle of the track so this uh, I think is a Dutch guy yeah he was making a big mistake so he over breaks, breaks himself he left the racing line uh, all together and he was sensible enough to realize that maybe if he continued to push out of those corners we will both crash so he lifts off and he will take a control of his car and of course he will wait for his chance that's the good driving that's the thing that's the thing I like to see when I'm racing with, uh, with the good drivers so uh, as I mentioned earlier uh, we don't need to uh, do anything by all means so no need for that now uh, cars uh, behind were coming very close and uh, I must say both of those cars, both of those drivers were very sensible uh, as I am obviously very slow, slower than them they were trying not to push me out uh, not to um, bump into me but they were also battling uh, between themselves so few times they will switch their position but still they were very careful and they were watching what are they doing on the track so uh, I am driving that defensively on that defensively style so going on the inside uh, I am trying to disturb their racing lines so then they don't have a good exit uh, because they obviously have a much speed in the corner so at these first few corners I was going way too slow so this French guy was trying to overtake me on the outside that would have been a good uh, maneuver but good move but he didn't manage to do it uh, to the end so I'm still somewhat safe uh, I'm getting away on uh, every straight and here also you can see how much this French guy is careful so he was almost going on onto the inside but he realized that he will uh, bump into me and now a Dutch guy was in front of him and they both were behind me on my tail like angry wasps they were just trying to uh, overtake me and I bumped a little bit into this uh, Dutch guy Megan and uh, I could expect that their frustration was rising and they were very eager to overtake me because obviously I was slowing them down but nevertheless I had a full right to defend my position and to battle for this sixth place and so I did just that and um, I was thinking maybe I can hold on a few more laps and uh, to manage to escape from them and to uh, have a good lap into these uh, slow corners in the middle of the, of the track so 
I was hoping I can do that, but we will, but we will see how it will end. So this is the ninth lap, only two more until the end. So at some point my advantage was almost a second. I had a very good exit out of this corner, and when I do that in front of this straight, I am um, having a much better exiting speed, of course, and uh, I was uh, very faster. Uh, much faster than them and my uh, advantage was increasing so I must admit that at some point I was thinking that okay this is it I've managed to escape so I will have a of somewhat uh, relaxing race until the end they will not uh, be able to catch up with me because they also were battling but now you, you will see how I was wrong because this car catch up with me only in one corner. I don't think I was doing that corner slowly than any other previous lap, but I think that is just because of the tires. Uh, Renault Megane once again is a very good on tires and my tires were starting to get uh, very bad. As you can see, almost every corner where I don't uh, break on an exact place I was having uh, understeer so that was starting to present a problem but uh, still as you can see how much my advantage was increasing still I was thinking that I can um, I will manage to uh, stay on this place so so even if I uh, if sorry so if uh, they were uh, close enough to um, try to overtake me I will uh, drive defensively so um, at some point I was even driving defensively with them far away so that that was just a precaution so now you will see uh, when I was uh, talking about that uh, catching up with me in one corner so 10th lap, uh, almost half done, I was hoping I can go until the end of the race with these tires and to stay in this position, but look look now, so so they are very close, this guy now it's almost at the position to overtake me, uh, I was trying to go defensively and I did go defensively here, and uh, I had a somewhat decent exit, but here is the place where I was uh, forced to lift off because of my tires and now this guy was uh, on the inside line and I didn't have uh, much of the choice so I uh, must let him through so I don't want to be any more aggressive than I already was and of course this Dutch guy was taking advantage of this position of this moment so both of them were overtake uh, uh, took my position in just one corner but uh, nevertheless I was satisfied with this uh, result uh, I was hoping that one more time if I go to these corners just a good uh, well in these corners just like in previous laps I can maybe after this long straight go and uh, break a little bit late and try to overtake them but now at this moment I realized I cannot do that so uh, I'm very satisfied with this position I learned uh, a lot from this race uh, I learned that I am a good uh, and consistent with uh, tire de degradation so I can uh, manage uh, degradation very well so I am able to sense how uh, a car will uh, behave at some point on a tire degradation so that's the good thing so I will be trying more of these daily races see and I will be trying more races where we have all of that so tire degradation fuel consumption and so on and so on so um, only a couple of corners until the end of the race the guys ahead of me uh, were still battling and uh, I think that Dutch guy was victorious at the end and okay that's that's the good thing so um, 
If you like this video, uh, please subscribe, turn your notifications on. Um, if you want to watch some more or to listen some more, I will be uploading a video every Tuesday, uh, Thursday and Saturday. That's the plan at least. And um, thanks for watching. I will see you next time and the V-Man is out.